Will Lee for Fishing Monthly Magazines here, and I'm sure that we've all seen the pictures of the big 119 pound Spanish mackerel which was caught at Fraser Island recently. Today I'm out at Albi Reels, and Doug Bahodja, the man that caught that fish, he's inside. Let's ambush him and find out the good oil on catching those big Spanish mackerel. Yeah, my name's Doug Bahodja. Um yeah, a local resident of Brisbane, so fishing's the first pleasure. It has been since I've been knee high to, to a grasshopper, so. We, every year we change our style of what we do. We chase some big fish. Um, obviously we go there for the tailor, but uh, of, of, over the past few years we've found that there's bigger fish just, just outside the break, so. Um, we've learnt there's uh, obviously sharks, mackerel, GT, all that sort of stuff. So, um, and, uh, and over the years, we've we've learned to target those a little bit better than what we, what we did in the past, where it was just hit and miss. Now it's we sort of we've learnt different different traits to catch these fish. So. Yeah, big Spanish mackerel, 119 pound, and 1.9 meters long. So they're saying it's the biggest land base in the world. I heard, but I don't know how true that is. So, pretty proud of that one. Yeah, the length was uh, 1.9 metres, a little bit over, but we'll stick with 1.9, uh, 119 pound, and 50, which is 54 kilo. More mackerel, my brother got a, a cracker of a GT up there, which is, well, it'd have to be 80, 90 pounds, so big fella, um, and stacks of, stacks of tailor. Um, we got uh, 20 odd dew over the nights, we, we, we spent a lot of time fishing and, and uh, oh, snub nose dart, all sorts of things. So. Yeah, the slider bait, we, we've only learned that recently um, off some guys we watched a few years ago. We didn't see them catch any fish with it, but uh, it's basically um, a, use a decent sized line with a, a big grapnel sinker. We throw that out as far as we can and anchor that in the sand. Um, and then you've got a slider bait, a slider rig, which is this set up here. Hook around the main line with your, your trace and a livey. It was a live tail, as, big as, as bigger the better. And you slide him out and he swims out to whatever's got to meet him out in the water. <laughs> Hopefully a big mackerel or a big, not so much sharks, they hurt too much to bring him in. But um, yeah, anything big is nice. Yeah, we, we use LV reels, uh, the 651C5, which is a big deep spill surf reel. Um, mainly because it's capacity more than anything, because um, when these fish take it, they go a long way out. Um, line you can lose anything from 40 pound up if you like I've heard guys using really heavy stuff we're, we're 40 50 somewhere around there um, steel trace on the end and it's a hundred pound steel trace obviously because of mackerel they're pretty sharp teeth um, and we use uh, Tenno black magic hooks two of snooted hooks and um, and the biggest bait we can find swim out and, and and hope for the best. Just like river fishing, you don't have to cast the other end of the river to catch fish. Surf fishing that we've found, it's um, the fish are just behind the first break, and, and I'm talking three foot of water, and these are big fish. Uh, sometimes they can, they'll swim to that first break and get smashed straight away. Sometimes it's a bit further, but certainly you don't have to throw out to the other end of the earth. It's anywhere in that gutter. It's nice to get if you can get the bait just on the inside of the gutter, because um, they tell me that's where they where they sit. But uh, we've in our experience, never had to go that far. They, they get nailed long before then. Uh, yeah, people are surprised, because most people just go there for tailor. They're not thinking of any other fish. And the odd, you get the odd whiting fishermen in the, in, the, in the shallow gutters, but most people are chasing tailor, and, and uh, yeah, it's a bit sacrilege to some people that see, them, see you throwing a bigger bait out than what they're bringing in. Um, but to do the fig, big fish, you need big baits, big live baits. The, this, this year, the two fish we got, the mackerel I got, he was, it's, it's hard to tell, but it's easy three quarters of an hour. It would probably be closer to an hour. Um, I lost all track of time actually <laughs> while you're playing with that's all you're thinking about. And my brother's uh, GT was about the same, probably a little bit longer because um, they're much broader in the surf and harder to turn. So it does take a lot of, a long time. Um, but yeah, they, on the whole, most people are pretty happy for, for us and for myself for, for that fish. Um, and the amount of people that said they're going to Fraser Island now is. <laughs> It's going to be a busy place. <laughs> we, we fish, as I said, for years. Um, we've, we do have all sorts of reels, but we do go for the LV, especially on beach. Um, little, little moving parts, you can drop them in the salt water, you can drop them in the sand, and they're bulletproof. Uh, never let us down, to be honest. So, really good reel.